I think he's trying to figure out what just happened. It's amazing how much power, isn't it? There he goes. I would say that tarpon fishing was on my bucket list. <sighs> Being in the industry, you hear a lot of, especially the saltwater uh, anglers and Avenue pros that we have, uh, that's typically the first thing that'll come out of their mouths is you've got to go tarpon fishing. <laughs> the biggest difference between what I expected it to be and what it actually is. Oh boy. He's not giving up, that's for sure. It's just the amount of physical exertion that goes into pulling a tarpon in. There we go, first one in the morning. Isn't it incredible? Good sign. Perfect. When you're hoisting that tarpon up and you're taking that photo and the guide is just hanging on to it and the fish is longer than you are, you, there's a sense of relief. One, that you were able to bring him in the boat um, and kind of capture Ooh. that moment for you to remember. Um, but number two, you're going to release them. Awesome. And then typically you get a break. So awesome. uh, I don't think our, I think our shortest break after pulling one in was maybe five minutes after another one hits. Fish! Yeehaw! You guys sleeping back there? If you have never caught a tarpon in your life and felt the power of these things, oh my God! Having them <laughs> jump in the air and go so high, you, you, you couldn't believe that a fish Again. that size can go that high and then they do it the second time and it's the same feeling.